Talk a little bit about Jordan Peterson. If you're unfamiliar with him, I encourage you to Google him, find out all about him. But he's a Canadian psychologist. Uh, he's a best-selling author, lectures around the world, has a huge social media following. But his introduction into international fame came in 2016 when he rebuffed the Canadian Parliament when they amended a bill, a discrimination bill, and they added it, they added to that gender identity and expression. In other words, you could be charged criminally if you were to use the wrong pronouns or refuse to use pronouns that somebody preferred. And Jordan Peterson said, that's crazy. That's compelled speech. I'm not going to, you can't tell me what to say. And that started this, this whole movement against him, which caused his infamy to grow exponentially. And in 2022, you fast forward, the Canadian uh, psychologist of Ontario, the CPO, charged him with a lack of professionalism because of some things he said in his YouTube videos. I think there was a podcast with Joe Rogan or something that he got in trouble for. And then in 2023, the, in the, the CPO of what you've done, uh, you're going to lose your license unless you take essentially a re-education program. Well, you can imagine Jordan Peterson said re-education. You've got to be kidding me. So we appealed this last year, uh, that went through the appeal process. And then in 2024, uh, the appeal was denied. In other words, here's Jordan Peterson uh, in, in danger of losing his license and being vilified by the Canadian legislature simply because he, he does not want to con be compelled to offer speech that is against his beliefs. So what's the point of all this? I could go on and on about Jordan Peterson, but I think there's a couple things here. One is that it fundamentally has to do with the trajectory we're in our culture that's driven largely by postmodernism. For example, if I use the words wokeism, transgenderism, Marxism, or Orwell, I mention any of those people or, or ideologies, those who are given to postmodernism, progressivism, leftism, roll their eyes like, oh yeah, that's Fox News stuff. They dismiss it. They say, we, we ascribe to the term wokeism or we ascribe to Orwell uh, this nonsensical uselessness. So it doesn't matter. Despite the fact that Orwell was prescient in the thought police and some animals are equal, more equal than others and so forth, I'm reminded of that, that poem. It goes all the way back to the 19th century. You know, sticks and stones will break my bones, but, but words will never hurt me. Uh, that comes from Alexander William Kinglake. That's gone. And, you know, Santayana's, those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. All of those are in play. All of it. And the problem is we're living in a world that's, that eschews that, just kind of dismisses it like, yeah, 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 it's Fox News. And then they move on. And I think fundamentally it's about, and I don't know if Jordan Peterson has taught on this, I, I, I would assume so, but it's about reality and truth. It's about standing for objective reality and truth that facts matter and that we are not under blasphemy laws as are the case in so many Islamic countries. But the Canadian parliament is moving forward and they're not the only one. There are other governments in, in Europe and other, ways, other places that are basically passing westernized versions of blasphemy laws that you can't say these things because they offend people. And Jordan Peterson has said that that obliterates the, the fundamental concept of freedom of speech. You can't say that. You can't tell me what to say. And the fact that you're offended by it doesn't make it illegal or it shouldn't make it illegal. I think Jordan Peterson makes a good point on multiple levels. But in this case, what he's saying is if we're going to give place to the thought police, to all animals are equal, some are more equal than others, to the postmodernism jujitsu with language to reinforce their ideology and crush all other ideologies. If we get place to that, we're in trouble. And I think of it from a biblical worldview, and that is, look, I'm gonna keep preaching the gospel. I'm gonna continue to quote scripture. If you wanna put me in jail, put me in jail. You wanna, you wanna persecute me, persecute me. But you, it, the, the scriptures talk about this. The disciples were in jail, and they were told, you need to stop talking about Jesus. And they said, listen, we submit to authority. But in this case, you will not compel us to stop talking about Jesus. And I think it's an important thing for everyone to consider. Are we allowing people to shut down freedom of speech? And are we willing to suffer for it, in my case, because we believe our message is that important? Anyway, something to think about. Have a good rest of the day.